Hello everyone. The next program is based on generation of electricity bill using LCF ladder. Let's have a look at the syntax first. It starts with if followed by the condition. If this condition is true, then the code following the condition will be executed. If there are multiple conditions to be checked, you can keep writing LCF ladder. Finally, if none of the above conditions are true, then you have the else block which will be executed. Let's understand the problem description. This is the pricing structure for generation of electricity bill. For first 200 units, the user will be charged 80 pesa per unit. For next 100 units, that is from 201 to 300, the user will be charged 90 pesa per unit. For beyond 300 units, if it exceeds 300, for example, if it is 400, 325, then for such cases, you are going to charge 1 rupee per unit. Additionally, there will be a meter charge of rupees 100 for all the users. If the final bill amount exceeds 400, then additional surcharge of 15% is levied upon the user. Finally, you will display user's name followed by the bill amount that the user has to pay as output. The method used is LSIF ladder. Before writing the program, let's understand how this works. So using an Excel sheet, I'll explain. Let's assume the number of units consumed by the user is 175. So as per the pricing structure, if the units is less than 200, then the charge is 80 pesa per unit. So it will be 175 into 80 pesa. So I'll convert it into rupees 0 0.80. Additional charge of 100 rupees as meter reading. So the total will be 140 plus 100 rupees. So the bill, total bill amount is 240. Since the amount is not exceeding 400, additional 15% will not be levied upon the user. Next input, let's take it as 250. So for the first 200 units, the user will be charged 80 pesa per unit. For the remaining units, so 250 minus 200, we have taken care of 200 units. So 250 minus 200, that is 50. For the remaining units, he will be charged 90 pesa per unit. 100 rupees meter charge. So the final amount will be 205 plus 100 rupees, which is 305. Again, 305 is not exceeding 400, so no additional surcharge. Let's try the third case where the input is 400. For this, first 200 units, 80 pesa. Next 100 units, 100 units will be 90 pesa. Now we have to find the remaining units. So the input is 400. You have taken care of 200. You have taken care of 100. So 400 minus 300, that is 100. For remaining units, you are charging the user as 1 rupee. So 350 is the amount plus 100 rupees as meter charge. The final comes to 450. Is 450 greater than 400? Yes. Find out 15% of 450 rupees. So 0 0.15 into 450. It is 67.5. Let's calculate the final bill amount now. Final amount will be 450 plus the 15% of it. So the user has to pay 517.5 rupees. Let's start the code now. Include the header files required. Void main. This is where the execution of your program begins. Let's start writing the code. You will be taking as input two values. First is the name of the user. Second is the number of units consumed by the user. The bill amount, final amount will be stored in let's say amount. Now start taking the input from the user. Print it. Enter your name. Name, you can store it in scanf as percentage s followed by name. 
Now, the problem with Scanf is if you write the name as Sam Matthew, when you're using Scanf, it will only read the first name. After space, after the space bar, whatever you write, it will be ignored. So only Sam will be saved and not the last name Matthew. So to avoid this, there is another function called get s. S stands for string. So get s takes only one parameter as input, which is the variable where you want to store the entire line of input. So the variable is name. This time, entire name Sam Matthew will be stored in the variable name. My second input is number of units. So enter units. Units will be saved in variable units. Percentage D because it is integer type and percent units. Let's start writing the conditions. If the number of units is less than or equal to 200, then the amount will be, it will be number of units into 80 pesa plus 100 rupees meter charge. Second case, let's copy paste this. This is the second case. I'll be writing the second case using answer. This time, if the number of units is between 201 to 300, so and units is greater than 200. So this makes sure that the range is 201 to 300. You will be charging the user for first 200 units 80 pesa. For the remaining units, to find the remaining units, it will be the number that the user has entered your units minus you have taken care of 200. So unit minus 200 into 90 pesa plus 100 rupees meter charge. So suppose if your unit is let's say 225. So for first 200 units 80 pesa. For the remaining units 225 minus 200 that is 25 units it will be 90 pesa. Last case is the else part. In the else part, we'll be writing the final amount. Okay, first 200 units 80 pesa, then next 100 units 90 pesa, and let's find the remaining units as I told in the above case. Remaining units is found by writing units minus how many units have you covered? So here we covered 200 plus 100, that is 300. So unit minus 300 into 1 rupee plus 100 rupees meter charge. All the cases have been covered. Now you have to write the case if the amount exceeds 400 rupees. In that case, you have to find 15% charge. So my final amount will be actual amount plus 15% of my amount, which is amount into 0 0.15. Finally, print the final answer on screen, which is percentage S has to pay percentage F amount. So S comes from the variable name, F comes from the variable amount and close the main function. Save your file. Save it with .c extension. Compile your file. Let's check for errors. So successful. Run your file. Okay. Sam Matthew. Number of units consumed, let's say 250. So the user has to pay. Sam Matthew has to pay 305 rupees. Similarly, do try out for the cases, the examples that I showed in Excel sheet. Thank you.